So in this video, we're going to be walking through the implementation of authentication in the Vue 3 project using Odd0 and um, Vuex, that's the Vue.js store library. So the first thing you want to do is have your Odd0 credentials here. That's your domain and your client ID. This is exported from this auth underscore config.js. And um, everything starts from the application store. So in the source folder, we have the store. And in this store, we have the index.js file, which is the root of the store. It's a very simple store using the create store hook from Vuex. And here we have uh, just a single state property that is the user, which is set to null by default. We have a mutation that sets the state of the user, that's the user state. And down here we have a getter, an authenticated getter, which basically uses this double exclamation mark to coerce the state the that's the data contained in the user to a boolean so if the user state contains data it's set to true and if not it will return false that is for a null value so aside the logic in the store file everything happens in the app.view file now this is a very simple application if you look at the template here we basically just have two sections an authenticator section and a non-authenticator section so if the app loads, definitely the user is not logged in at the moment. So it just says login to proceed. I have a button where you can click login, which calls a login method. And in the authenticator section, it says you are successfully logged in and it picks the user's name to be displayed. And we also have a button for the logout, for the user to log out of the application. And we scroll down. Everything regarding the authentication takes place in the setup function which is the view composition api's way of defining the functionality for your component so everything takes place in the setup method in the setup method we first get a reference to the store by calling the use store hook which is imported from ux scroll down a little bit then we set our zero client to a ref and in our mounted hook we get a reference or rather we call the create or zero client that is from the odd zero uh, single page applications sdk so we pass in our domain and our client id and we get our odd zero client and once we get that through our zero client we can also fetch our user and as you can see we're using dot value here for our odd zero client that's a view 3 thing that's a composition api thing because we're using a ref we need to get the current value of that ref variable in order to assign it. So for the user data, we await the client and we use the store to set the state of the user. So once we have the user data inside this user data variable, we just simply pass it to the store by committing this mutation. So every time the page loads, this code runs. And if we have a user that is currently in session, this user object or rather this call is going to return a user object which would go into this variable and be set in the store next we create two references to our store two variables authenticated and user which are computed properties with the view composition api we have a computed method that we can use to reference or rather to create computed properties and what this basically do is we return the state in the store we use this to return the getter the authenticated getter and we use this to return the user state so that we can use these values within our template and we scroll down we define our login function which simply calls the login with pop-up method on the zero client and uh, once that is done we get our user and set our user in the store there's an error we just print it out in the console Scrolling down, we have our logout function, which also uses the zero client to call the logout method to end the user session. And from the setup method of the composition API, we return everything defined. We return the computer properties authenticated and user. We return the auth zero client and we return the login and logout functions. These are going to be available for us in our template. So, let me scroll down a little bit these are just basically styles yeah so that's that's that we uh in our mounted hook on mounted 
we get a reference or rather we define our Audio client by calling the create Audio client and set the user state. If the user is not currently logged in, this will return null. So our user will remain un unauthenticated. And uh, we have authenticated and user gotten from the store and login and logout functions and all are returned down here. So I currently have the app running. Currently have it running. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to open that. Let me just kill that. Okay, so I have the app running, localhost 8080. I go to Chrome. As you can see, we have the application, the view logo, and login to proceed, and the login button, showing that uh, we don't have a user session in place. When I click this login button, I get the Odd Zero pop-up dialog to login. So I have my view three app and I can simply log in with my Google account. Select an account. And voila. I am successfully logged in. You are successfully logged in Fikayo Adepoju. And if I'm done, I can click log out. And that's it. I'm logged out of the application. So that's basically a very simple way of, um, or rather, the simplest way you can implement this uh, authentication with Ozero and Decomposition API. Now, I also created a, another branch because we can actually pack this, all this functionality into a hook, something, or rather, a functionality that is hook like. So I created another branch, go to with hot hook. And what this branch simply does is that I created a folder called hooks and I created the hook use hot. Now use hot is basically a function that is exported from this module. And what it does is that it packs all the logic we had in the setup um, in the master branch. That's for the simple implementation. It just packs all the logic for creating the authenticated reference to the store, creating the user reference to the store. It defines a function that returns that builds and returns an Ozero client using the domain and the client ID. And also we have the login method and the logout method, and it returns all these properties, both state and method, returns it. And from this, we can go to our app.view. Let me just push this aside a little bit so we can have more space. So can I go to app.view and just import use auth? We import use auth, scroll down. We get a reference to our store. As before, we get a reference. We create a ref for our auth zero client. Then from the use auth, from the use auth hook, we can simply get a reference to all these values. The authenticated state, the user state, then the function for building our zero client, login and logout functions. And in on my, in the unmounted hook, the unmounted lifecycle hook, we define our odd zero client. We try to get our user and set the state so that when anybody reloads the page, we can make this call to log the user in automatically. And um, we scroll down, we have two functions defined here login user and logout user, which basically just proxies, which are rather proxies of the login and the logout function from the use auth hook. And as we did previously, we return what we need in the template that is the authenticated and user states, the login user and logout user method. So in this template, we are no longer using login and logout as the previous example. We're now using logout user and login user, but they simply do the same thing. So if I go to, if I go back to my application and do a hard reload. Click login. Login with Google. Select my Google account once again. And as you can see, I'm now logged in. Same as before, nothing changed. The functionality remains the same, even though we refactored our authentication logic. Now, if I reload the page, 
once I load the page, the unmounted hook is going to the unmounted lifecycle hook is going to be called and it's going to fetch the user and ensure that my authenticated session is still in place. And I can simply log out whenever I'm done with this. So that's that. That is how I implemented the login or rather the authentication using Auth0, Vuex, and Vue3 Composition API.